Hi and welcome back. In this video, I want to introduce some TR-808 style or 808 style programming in Waveform 11. Now this should even work on Waveform 3. It should apply to all because we're using the instrument called Micro Drum Sampler, which has 808 and 909 type drum sounds built in. We're also going to use the inline step sequencer called Step Clips to do this type of programming. Now it's pretty easy, but there's always some tricks that you can learn when programming in the TR-808. And this is obviously gonna depend on the kind of music you're making, but this will give you at least a fundamental idea of one way to approach this in waveform. So to get started, I'm going to change the tempo of my project. I just created a new project. I have done nothing with it yet. I've got eight tracks, probably gonna need only two. We're gonna do the core programming and then we're going to separate the hats to a separate track for a little bit more detailed programming. So down at the bottom where it says BPM, I'm just gonna click on that. We're gonna change this to 66, slow it down a little bit so that we can really see what we're doing. I'm also gonna select track three. I'm holding down shift and I'll select track eight and then hit delete because I only need two tracks. Another trick here is I'm gonna hover the mouse between these two tracks, hold shift, and then drag this out to expand these two tracks so I can see them nice and clear. In the browser, if you don't have the browser shown, then you can go up to the corner where this eye is and click this right here. There's also the keyboard shortcut B by default opens and closes the browser. With the browser open, click on the Actions tab, and then you can see the things that we're gonna to need to use over here in the Actions area. Now the next thing we wanna do is on our first track, insert the micro drum sampler. One way to do that is to just right click right here, add new plugin, and then under Waveform Plugins, Instruments, right here, micro drum sampler. Regardless of the version, if you're on Waveform 11, you should have this micro drum sampler. It pops up here showing nothing, but if you click in this area here, you can choose between an 808 kit and a 909 kit. We're gonna choose the 808 kit. At this point, if you have your output set up, if you click on these pads, you should hear it. There's a kick. And we're gonna use the kick, hat, and clap. And that's pretty much all we're gonna use for the beat. Now this is a very basic sampler, but you can build your own kits in here. If you wanna modify the sounds, you can drag this, for example, on the hat. If we drag this in close, we can chop it a little bit. So you can truncate it. So you just have that basic level. We're gonna set this right about here. Nice, concise clap. Maybe that's ringing out a little bit too long. That's good. Give it a little more tail. All right, so I think we're set with that. Now the next thing we wanna do is to add a step clip to this. So right up here, there is this clip generator, the red one, or the clip object. And we're gonna just drag it from here over onto this area here, and it will ask us what we're trying to do. We want to insert a step clip. And so then we get this step sequencer view. Grab the far right triangle here and drag that in until it's just one bar long, and then zoom in a little bit. So I'm gonna go up to the top here and drag down to expand this view. Now, as you hover to the left side, you'll see that you've got channels. And we're gonna start with the kick channel. If you click on that, then you'll see the actions panel gives you some things. It's showing you the note number. And if we fill in something on here, then as we play back, we'll get uh, kicks. And basically we can do this 16 step grid style programming. Now, before we do that, we wanna set the out marker right here. So go to bar two or click up here and press O to set the out marker. We also wanna turn the loop on. 
which we can do down here in the toolbar by pressing this loop button. And you'll see that the loop highlights above there. If we play back, we should have our kick. And let's add another kick here. And now we'll add a clap on the downbeat here. So that is the start of our beat. Now the next thing we want to do is click on this hi-hat channel. So we hover over here, click on the closed hi-hat channel. And now we could paint in the notes we want here by just dragging across. All right, so there is a basic pattern. Now, another thing we could do is if you click this and then look in the actions panel, if you don't see everything, you can click this open star here. You can do things like clearing the channel. So if we click here and then you see this, it says clear channel. I also have it selected as a favorite. And then that takes all the notes off that row. There's also some shortcuts. We can say, I want to put a note on every which steps, so I'm gonna say every two steps, like that. Or, like I did before, a note on every step. So I'm gonna do a note on every step, but I'm going to take the hits off where I've got the clap. So it's not competing with that. And it is robotic. Obviously, it is robotic. But what we typically want to do is add a little variation to the velocity when you're doing the hat programming. So if you click up here where it says VG, it opens up the velocity editor. And if you click the row that you're on, let's expand this just a little bit more. Click the row. And then these will now be the velocities and you can paint them in like this or you can deliberately just set them the way you want. I'm gonna have every other one be reduced in velocity and we'll see if that, that should add you know, a little bit more feel to it. Maybe we'll do it something like this. So I'll, I'll just experiment with it. All right, so those are the basics. I'm gonna go ahead and close this VG. G stands for gate. You can also control the length of those notes by grabbing the edge of these things, and then you can bring them in to gate them, which could be useful for some kinds of instruments. Doesn't really matter so much here. So I'm gonna close that view right now, and then we're gonna separate the hi-hats to a different track. So I'm gonna click on closed hi-hat and do clear channel to get that out. Now I'm gonna to go to track two and I'm gonna create another setup like this, but I'm gonna use it only for programming the hi-hats. So I'm gonna add the new plugin, waveform plugins from instruments and then the micro drum sampler. And again, I'm gonna choose the 808 kit Close that up and then we will drag in and create another step clip. Now on this step clip, we'll also do the hats, but I'm going to click on the footer for the step clip 
And you'll see this allows us to choose how many steps we want. So I'm going to double these number of steps in the Actions panel from 16 to 32. I'm also going to change the step length from one quarter beat to one eighth beat. So it doubles up my grid. If I zoom in a little bit, you'll see that grid gets more detailed. So then back down here on my closed hi-hat, I can put in every two beats to have what I had before. Which means I could put beats in between. So I'll experiment with that. So when you're programming just hi-hats, you're focusing on that. You don't really need all these other instruments in here. So you could remove them if you want by just clicking on some of them and doing delete channel. So I'll take out the maracas, delete the channel, claves, delete, conga. I definitely don't want to do that. And the value of this less clutter to look. I'll keep the open hi-hat and then we'll clear the side stick and the snare, and I'm gonna get it where I've just got only hi-hats in here. So now I can really focus this in on programming hi-hats. So if we wanted to put an open in, we could. I don't really like, I'm just gonna go back to alternating. All right, so there's that. I'm gonna open up this VG, click on our row here, and we'll put in some variation here. Well, again, I'll alternate. If you just click, you don't have to drag those. You could just click on these bars and they'll, they'll match that. So let's listen to this. Now I know you're probably dying to add some pitch to these. I will show you a technique to do that. It's a little bit easier in the multi-sampler instrument that's in Waveform Pro. Maybe I'll do a video on that some other time, but I will show you a technique how to add a little pitch variation to these using a pitch plugin, but I'm not gonna do that yet because if we wanna add some stutter effects to this, then we need a little bit more finer control over editing than we get with step clips. But the great thing is once we're to this point, we've got a pattern we're generally happy with, we can convert this to MIDI and do it in the piano roll. So if I click on the header for the clip and then go over here where it says render clip, I've got some options. I can render the selected clip, render MIDI, which is what I want, and I want to render the selected clip to MIDI and replace it. That gives me this dialog box, and I pretty much just need to click Render. And now this is, let me close the velocity for a second, and now if we scroll down, we'll find those exact clips in MIDI format. So if we go on one of these and we wanted to get more of a stutter pattern, maybe right here, uh, I'll click on this note with the arrow tool and press D to duplicate it. And now if we want to split this note, we use command and slash, like a forward slash. You'll see that's split it. And if we want to split this one to create more of a stutter, Select the note, command, slash.
And maybe over here, we'll do another one. Command slash. And if you look at the beat divisions here, you could see this is, this is beat one, beat two, beat three, beat four. We could also do something like adjusting this to add a triplet in here. So what I'm gonna do is turn quantize off for this. Quantize is set with this magnet here. So if I turn that off, or you can use the keyboard shortcut Q, Q on or off. And then we're going to just add a triplet in here. So we'll leave that, put this kind of in between here. So between the beats here, we'll have kind of an eighth note triplet. I'll duplicate that with the D, and then I'll just sort of position these in here and do this by ear. The last thing I'm going to show you in this example is how to add a little pitch variation to these hats using the Pitch Shift plugin. So this time I'm going to drag it in from the plugin object and just drag it down after the micro drum sampler because this is going to be an audio effect. And then Waveform Plugins under Effects, Pitch Shifter. I could just manipulate the Pitch Shifter and you'll hear that it, it, it changes the pitch. So down in octave, it sounds pretty cool. And we could put in an automation to automate, essentially automate this knob. And it's really pretty easy to do. So with the track selected over on the side where there's this A and this plus, just click plus, And we want to add an empty automation track. And then to assign that to the pitch shifter, you grab this A, drag it to the pitch shifter plugin, and drop it. And now we have a breakpoint style editing that we can do for pitch shifting. So if we come in here, I'm going to zoom in on this little, this area a little bit more. Double click to add a couple of points here and then drag this down. Then I'll add a point. I think I want it, I want it done by the time I hit that beat. So I'll add another point here, drag this point back up. And you'll see over on the right here that it shows the number of semitones. Let's just listen to the effect of this. So we're getting a kind of a whip sound. Maybe that's a little too aggressive. So we could take this point up a little more. It's also not coming perfectly back to the original pit. So if I click this point, then I can go over here in the actions panel and just make sure that it comes back to zero. So it's back to the original pitch. And maybe we want to try going down over here just for another interesting effect. So I'll click here and add another point on this line, drag it down. You can also click here and adjust the curvature of that line. Too much. So that gives you a wide variety of things you can play around with when you're programming your 808 style drums in waveform. Have fun. I'll see you in another video very soon.